everybody, and welcome to Colleen's Craft Corner. Today, we are making sock puppets, just like on News Tonight. So if you want to have your own great moments in history, you can make a sock puppet. The supplies you will need, a sock, obviously, um, yarn, Sharpies or fabric markers, and optionally, you can have googly eyes, and if you want to make a more complicated puppet like the Bob Chapek puppet, you'll need a photo of a face, cardboard, and a hot glue gun. So we'll start with our sock. Put it on your non-dominant hand. You want to put your thumb in the heel, and then scrunch the fabric down into your palm to get your fingers into the toes. Now, if you want to sew, you can always like cut out a chunk in the middle and sew it together so you don't have this excess fabric. But it's up to you. So now we want to draw the mouth. And you want to draw the mouth while it's on your hand so that you get it matched up correctly. So let's see. We'll give this puppet a green mouth, I think. So you can use Sharpies. I have fabric markers. Um, Sharpies do run, so there is the possibility of uh, some of the Sharpie color bleeding, but you can always wash it. And I color the bottom lip. And now my sock, a little green mouth. So now I'm going to draw a nose, pick out a different color, maybe his nose will be blue. So I usually just do like a triangle, like you do on like a jack-o-lantern, because that's easy. It's good to do a lot of this with the sock on, because then you really see what it's going to look like. So I've got my mouth and my nose. So now I need eyes. So if you're doing this like all with markers and stuff, you can just draw on some eyes. I like to use the like seam of the toes as where I want to put my eyes. So you could stop here. Like this could be, I mean, this is a puppet, it's got a face, you could be done. I, however, am going to make some hair and add googly eyes. So I'm going to use the hot glue gun. Turn that on. I'm going to pick out some googly eyes. There's all different sizes of googly eyes. You could be forky-like and have them have two different size eyes. That would be funny. Oh, they all fell out. So while the hot glue gun heats up, we're going to talk about hair. So you could use almost anything as hair. Uh, pipe cleaners, a ball of, like, you could put cotton balls on their head. I don't, you know, whatever. I like to use yarn. And you can do different hairstyles, like on the Colleen puppet, her hair is braided. This puppet just has some long hair. And this one just kind of has like a chunk of hair on the top. So I'm just going to roll some yarn out. And then I find like an easy way to make all the yarn the same length is just to fold it a bunch of times. You don't have to measure. I'm not really a measurer. I had a lot more yarn than I thought. Okay. And then you just cut through the loops. Extra loop. And they got a bunch of yarn the same size. So, I don't know. What should I do for their hair? I might just have it be like a mop of hair. So I'm just going to do like a chunk of hair on the top. 
So I'm going to cut off another piece of yarn and I'm going to tie it around the middle. So I got kind of a little bundle. Although I don't need to trim off the extra. I don't know why I did that. Once a glue gun. Oh, there we go. Put a dot here on this eye. These are hard to pick up. Remember, hot glue is hot. Be careful. I burned myself twice today. Now he's got some googly eyes. Then I'm going to put on this mop of hair. So I'm going to put some hot glue down. And then the hair. Kind of funky, like a free free spirit. Funky hair, and that's a sock puppet. It's really easy. Just draw a face on a sock. There's a couple different things you can do if again sewing. Um, so with the Colleen puppet, I cut out a chunk in the middle and sewed it together so that it would be just the size of my hand. Um, this puppet, I cut a slit by the toes and then sewed in red fabric to make a mouth. Kind of thinking about, should like a puppet have a beard? Does this puppet have a beard? I kind of want to experiment and see if a beard Oh, would that be weird? Let's try it. It's all about your creativity and your imagination. You don't have to do things exactly the same way I do. Do things however you want. This is just how I do it. This is how I make the puppets for news tonight. I have a little craft cabinet. Keep all my stuff. I'm going to tie a little string around it again, like I did with the hair, so that all stays together. So like, I bought this multicolored yarn, but you could use, you know, normal colored hair colored yarn. I didn't want my puppets to look too realistic. Not what we were going for. Going for janky puppets. Okay. So now going to under the bottom lip put a dollop of hot glue and I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to trim the threads so they're the same length. They're close to the same length but some of them were shorter, some of them were longer. Okay, let's see how that looks. Here, pop it. This puppet has a beard. Looks very strange, but I'm cool with it. Makes them different. You could give a puppet a mustache, like put a piece of yarn up there. That's it. That's a sock puppet. They're real easy, fun to make, entertain children. So if you want to make a puppet more like the Bob Chapek puppet, what you'll need to do is Find the face of whoever you want to make a puppet of. Print it out. Make sure it's like a good size. Cut it out. And then you're going to cut the jaw off so they're two different pieces. And then glue them onto cardboard so that they're stiff. So then you'll take your sock and you'll cut off the toes. And then you make a rectangle piece of cardboard you put inside and then you glue this 
stock on the inside. So don't glue on the outside. You need to be able to put your fingers in there. You just glue the sock down in here. Then you take your face and you glue the top to the top and the bottom to the bottom. Make sure they line up. That's key. Then I like to take like a rectangle or not a rectangle, a triangle of cardboard and glue it on the back to stabilize the head because, you know, it would be really floppy. Might need to stabilize this chin. It's pretty floppy. I guess they're all floppy. So. so it's not hard. doesn't take that much time. Now that I think about it, you probably don't even have to cut off the toes of the sock. You could just stick them. You could just make it inside out and have the cardboard in there. And that's one less step. I'm going to try it. So yeah, you could just stick it inside. And then put the, the cardboard will make like the mouth stiff. And so then it's easier to pop it. Because like already it's, you know, coming out. So you want to have that cardboard piece to stabilize. That's it. Sock puppets are pretty easy. Just some fabric markers, some glue, googly eyes. You could use buttons as eyes. Uh, you could use like sparkly glue sticks as eyes. You could draw a mouth. The only limit is your imagination.